the moment I told my parents that I wanted to become an IAS officer, they said, start reading newspaper then. I didn't understand why they said it. I know many of you have the same doubt, especially the new aspirants are wondering whether is it necessary to read newspaper to clear the civil services examination. You're wondering, will it help you in your mains and prelims? Or do you have to read it regularly? I'm going to address all these questions in this video. This video is brought to you by Shankarai's Academy in the series Clearing UPSC the Right Way. Now coming back to my question, the answer to that is yes. Newspaper reading is essential to clear civil services examination. I personally understood this when I started my full-fledged preparation because newspaper reading and the knowledge which we get from them holds importance in all the three levels of examination. That is in your prelims and the mains which includes written examination as well as the personality test which is nothing but the interview. But why? For that, we have to look at the syllabus first. Look at the first area given. Current events of national and international importance. If you look at the other parts of syllabus, we have static books for them and also other study materials. For example, take the next one. History of India and Indian National Movement. For this, we have static books like the NCRT. Then we have the books like uh, India's Struggle for Independence, India Since Independence, Indian Art and Culture, etc., etc. So we cover history using these books. But for current affairs, we only have the newspapers. These newspapers provide us with the current happenings around the world that to on a day-to-day -day basis. They give us the relevant facts and opinions of the experts. So, as a UPSC aspirant, reading newspaper to cover the current affairs is one of the best ideas we have got. What you can do is, you can choose two standard national newspapers and uh, you can take notes from them that to honor general studies perspective. If you ask me, my personal preference is the Hindu and the Indian Express uh, because the editorials and the opinion pages of these newspapers are very good. They are quite comprehensive. Uh, they, they give us a good coverage like what, why, when, how, what need to be done, uh, pros and cons, etc, etc. See, all these information are important for us to frame an opinion. Framing opinion is necessary in the mains examination, which includes the written examination and also the personality test, that is your interview. Okay. But if you talk about the prelims, there we have got many direct questions based on different news articles. Take this question for example, it is based on ocean mean temperature, it appeared in 2020 prelims. This question is based on a newspaper article that appeared in the Hindu. So those who read that article and took notes from them, they could have definitely attended this question. Similarly, if you look at this year's question paper, that is the 2022 prelims question paper, there were many uh, topics or the questions that were based on those topics that appear in news regularly. For example, take the Gandhikota Canyon, the question on Qubit and then greenwashing. All these topics uh, appeared in the newspapers. Based on this, we even sometimes jokingly say whether UPSC aspirants go through newspapers or not, those who frame questions in UPSC, they definitely go through newspapers. Why? Because newspapers brings us the current happenings. They'll tell you the new discoveries, new inventions, new war, new peace treaty, new missiles launched or any new technology. Everything you'll get to know from the newspapers. But is it the only advantage? No. Newspaper reading also improves your vocabulary. You will develop a good command over English by reading the newspapers. Okay. But wait. Just newspaper reading will not get you anywhere. You cannot clear this examination by just reading the newspapers. You have to supplement it with other materials like uh, current affairs magazines or you can use the online current affairs analysis like the daily Hindi news analysis of Shankarai's Academy. Here note that I said supplement it with, don't substitute it with these 
uh, magazines or analysis. Just go through the newspaper once in a day. Spend half an hour at least. So what should be your motto? Never compromise newspaper reading. To clarify similar doubts in UPSC, subscribe to Shankar IS Academy YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. I'll meet you all with another video. This is Kirtana signing off. Thank you.